Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 57. In this Xara Web Designer MX Premium tutorial, let me repeat that one more time. In this Xara Web Designer MX Premium tutorial for version 8 of the software, we'll be talking about how to resize widgets um, for slideshows. And the reason that we're in now in version 8 of the program is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to resize widgets and the only way to accomplish that is to up upgrade to the newest version of the software which is Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8 so if you haven't already make sure that you watch lesson number 56 which is going to talk about how to upgrade from whatever version you're using to the latest version which is Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8 and it's very important that you get the premium version in order to follow along with these tutorials so make sure you upgrade to that and if you already know how to upgrade just simply use the show more description um, right below this video and click on the affiliate link for uh, purchasing the software and that will go directly to supporting these training tutorials that you watch on YouTube so nonetheless let's go ahead and get started the first thing that you want to do is open up a blank new document in XR Web Designer MX Premium and once you open up a blank new space just like normally we're gonna go to the designs gallery and when you click on design the designs gallery we're gonna go ahead and lock the panel with the thumbtack in the upper right hand corner and once you lock that panel we're gonna look for the folder that says page elements and you'll see that right here and one of the things I do want to mention is that the folders are in a different order so it may be a little bit confusing when you first come into the new version of the software but don't worry I'm going to do my best to try to help you understand um, the structure of this but the folder that you're going to look for is called page elements and when you left click on that folder it'll bring down a sub menu of folders and you're going to look for the folder that says photos because we're going to be dealing with a photo slider and how to resize that folder slider widget. So left click on that and when you left click on that it's going to bring up another subfolder series and you're going to look for the option that says photo slideshows and when you find photo slideshows you're going to left click on that and now you'll now you'll be able to see all the photo sliders uh, for your slideshow widgets and you're going to scroll through and scroll down until you find the one that says sliding show and that's just the one that I'm going to use for this particular tutorial. You could use, you know, all effects slideshow. You could use fade effects slideshow, tile effects slideshow, whichever one you want to use. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the sliding slideshow. So let's left click and drag that into our workspace. And once you drag that into your workspace, you can go ahead and you can resize it. And one of the things that you'll notice is that you have the nodes on the end of each part of this widget and that means that you can resize it unlike in the old version you could not do this so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna resize it by left clicking and dragging this outer node inward to make this photo slider smaller and one thing I want to mention is that it may not display correctly because of my hardware and but on your screen you may see it correctly but it is indeed going to resize this widget. So let me go ahead and show you that. Go ahead and place your cursor on one of the end nodes in the corner and then drag it inward and make that photo slider smaller. And as you can see, I got a gray box, but that's because probably my hardware sucks and it's probably why it doesn't look that great. You just see a square box, box here. But I promise you, when you go to preview this, it's going to show correctly. So let's go ahead and go to file and go to preview website and you'll see that indeed that square gray rectangle actually is indeed the size of this photo slider whereas in version 7 you could not resize the photo slider and if you wanted to make it big again you could drag it outward and it would make that photo slider bigger now so if you go to file preview website you'll now see that that gray box area represents the bigger image for the photo slider but like I said before 
uh, for your particular computer it may show correctly but for mine because I have a lot older um, equipment it doesn't display correctly so I do apologize for that uh, but hopefully you still get the point that you can resize a widget in version 8 of the software and again that is Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8 it's very important that you get the premium version or you will miss out on a lot of features so let me go back actually to I'm, I'm almost thinking I might want to show you version 7 and show you that you can't resize it but uh, I think you can figure that out if you try to do the same thing I just did in this tutorial in version 7 you'll quickly see that you're not able to do it and that's one of the benefits of upgrading to Xar Web Designer MX Premium version 8 so again I hope this tutorial has helped you and if you like it give us a thumbs up subscribe and you know share our video embed our video any any feedback comments that kind of thing it will as well will help with letting us know if we're on the right track for our training tutorial so hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope you stay tuned for future tutorials